I'm Jess Ken, and you were at Railside B R Ten. Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? Oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um, a bike. No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle. No, honey, please hurry, or something bad is gonna happen to mommy. I don't know. I don't. I know. bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter. Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. No, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rar. Okay. Um, a lion. No. <laughs> a tiger. A bear. No, no, not that. Come on, Susie. You only have ten seconds left. Rar. A cheetah. A leopard. A... Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay. Uh, it's a panther. A panther. Yay! You got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Hmm. <laughs> Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're you're a shark. No. Uh, the Water Olympics. No, Mom, come on. Let me guess. Let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grrr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom, Susie, what is your word? My word is. Susie, she's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to Acted Out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out. I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my God, what have I done? Dad, shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. The game is offline. Good. I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, mom. You look like the girl from Zapota. No, you look like the girl from Zapota. <laughs> sweetheart, your battery's at 10%. Time to charge. Okay, mom. Five more minutes. Okay. Patty cake, patty cake. Patty cake. <gasps> You're almost at 5%. I'll be fine. Just one more minute. Okay. You should really go charge now. <gasps> Lacey? Lacey? Mrs. Stevens, she's not waking up. No, her battery. Honey, please, please, please wake up. She's charging. Mommy? Oh, she's alive. You almost died on me. I'll never let this happen again. Mom, I'm going to school. Do you have your... Don't worry, I have my charger. Actually, honey, you won't need that today. Because I made you this. A bracelet? Put it on. It's actually a portable charger. Oh. 
It's a new invention. You won't have to charge ever again. Whoa, thanks, Mom. Of course. Don't get it wet, okay, honey? Okay. How does she have so much energy? It's not fair. It's because of that new bracelet she got. I have an idea. Hey, Lacey, you thirsty? Whoa, <laughs> uh, you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, can I please use your... Uh, what are you doing, Charger? You took my battery life. How did you do that? Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. <gasps> what is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Wanna ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You genius. never listen to any American Girl set. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you can have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No holograms. No holograms. No! No, 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 no holograms! What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <coughs> see? You see? <coughs> Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Mom, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but- Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I- Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes and- Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her, tell her that you're my real mommy. I, 
Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? That looked like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where's Emily? Hey. Ah, you scared me. Good. Now where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll- Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Shh, guys, I heard something. Emily! Emily! Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy? Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> what's wrong? I thought you left me. Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. I promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Manro, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? 
Mm -hmm. He's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I, and you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. I got my color. Wait, don't tell me until I get mine, okay? Okay, good luck. Thanks. Stand still while we find you a color placement. Scanning. Color placement found. Color placement blue. Okay, I'll tell you what I got, and then you tell me what you got. Okay, I got mine. Well, I got blue. We got different colors? Yeah. What do you think they mean? I don't know. They're supposed to tell everyone tomorrow. Breaking news. Due to overpopulation, reds must eliminate blues. Starting tomorrow, all blues must be terminated. Hey, did you see the news last night? Yeah, I did. Well, I have an idea on how to save you. We can trick them into thinking you're a red. You really think we can fool them? I mean, I don't see why not. Okay, I'm gonna try it. This actually kind of worked. It looks just like yours. Oh, wow, it does. You know, I I actually kind of got scared for a little bit. Why? Because I heard they were paying reds to kill blues and I know you really need the money. Brie, are you kidding me? I would never even think about that. I know, I just got scared. Mom's hospital bill went up to how much? 50,000? I, I can't pay that. Breaking news, rewards for blues have gone up to $80,000. Hey, I just want to say thank you again for helping me out with my color yesterday. I really appreciate it and I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. Oh, stop, you're just saying that. No, really Maya, I mean it. I don't know what I'd do without you. You're really not making this easy for me. What'd you say? Oh, nothing. Hey, why don't we watch a movie? <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Thanks for the food, Maya, but I told you I wanted to buy it. No, it's okay. I got it. Do you like it? Yeah, it was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Brie. But I can't let my mom die. Hi, I eliminated a blue yesterday. They said I was supposed to get my check today, but I haven't received anything. She was a red. No, she was a blue. She drew over it with a red marker. I see. Well, you were unsuccessful. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No, no men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's gonna adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm gonna be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're gonna come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that... Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about? No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she? Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! What is she? Oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh! 
How did she do she that? She has powers. Oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry. We're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow. I stay. Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. Hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie! Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. <sighs> No. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- <phone rings> Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help. Honey? Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura, she's- Oh! Ugh! Oh, oh, you broke my hand, you little- oh, oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room! Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White! Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey... Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for laser- <laughs> Get the glasses, quickly! Bad kid. Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her. Uh, Dan, stop it. You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom. Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now, and you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop! Ugh. Life is going- Ugh. You dead, 
Oh my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom, sissy, you find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go. <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my. Mom, it kind of looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my. I don't know, it kind of looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Mener, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana, no. Bien dare. Kill. Ma, sa, family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt, sissy. It's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See? They nice. Fine. We shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. I can't open. I still weak. Get back. He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? Twee. <gasps> That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper. And you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help! Oh, princess, hey! I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. Hurry up, open the door. You have to go, climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... 
Who gave you words? My queen, we cut a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it because I'm going to expose you to... What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at 18. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor helpless princess should have just eaten the food. After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out. The ceiling is collapsing. No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir. Do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah. Those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsed! No! Grandma? She left me. Uh, my head. Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. <sighs> A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? 
I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia? I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. <laughs>